Here is a strategy for the American roulette. I will play 18 numbers, and will consider not to play the last numbers hitted by the spinning ball shown on the roulette display. Note that the American roulette has 38 numbers total, 36 plus the zero, and the double zero. So if I play 19 numbers, which is the half of 38, I will get exactly 50% chances to get a winning spin. As opposite, on European roulette, if I play 18 numbers from a total of 37, I have only 48.65%. As I told you for this American roulette strategy, I will bet $1 on 18 numbers. So my total bets will be $18, and if I get a winning spin, I will be paid 35. So now just think, I can get paid 35 if I get a winning spin, but if I lose for two consecutive spins, I will lose $36. And there is a $1 difference between my winnings and losses. So it means like the roulette still have a small advantage against me and my betting strategy. Now, to compensate this roulette advantage. I will avoid playing all the previous numbers shown by the roulette last spins display. By doing so, I am trying to push the roulette advantage on my side. Just think, if there is a bag with 38 balls, each one with a different color and number. And just pick one ball, now put it back on the bag, shuffle and pick another ball. Do you think you will pick the same ball with the same color and number? Probably not. It is like a logic mathematic theory. And it has the potential to eventually push the odds on the player's advantage. Of course, the same number can get hit for many consecutive times, as roulette is roulette. But it is just a logic and rational theory, and usually, on a long term of playing, it should work on this way. So I will try my luck on American Roulette on this way. I will bet on 18 numbers with a $1 bet on each number, and I will avoid playing all previous spins numbers shown on the Roulette last spins display. Note that if I play this strategy with 19 numbers, it will be ok, as I will have 50% chances to get a winning spin, as I explained before. But I will play just 18 numbers and will try my luck on this way. Of course, roulette is roulette, and no one can guarantee a 100% winning strategy. But by playing on this way, it can boost the odds potential on my side, in theory, and based on logic and mathematic probabilities. Now let's carry on this strategy and see what will happen. I will try my luck on American roulette with this strategy. When winning, I will get $35. And when losing for two consecutive spins, I will lose $36, and at a 50% chances of winning, the roulette still have an advantage of one single dollar. I am just trying to reduce this small advantage the roulette game has, by applying the probabilities of rational mathematics as a theory. And it should work if we represent it as a graphic, and based on a long time of playing. Now you will see that on this game. I will get few losses and few wins, I will just wait to get a profit of over 40% from my initial cash balance of $100 I started to play with. Myself when playing roulette, I am not looking for big winnings, with a potential of big losses. I will just try to win a small amount equal or over 40% from my initial cash balance. This is a low risk strategy a player can use, and it can go for a long time range of playing as the loss probabilities are low as 50%. Personally I prefer playing on European roulette with even bets but also dozens and columns. But if I had to play on an American roulette, I will rather play this strategy here than any other one else. I will not try to play dozens or columns as there is the zero and double zero. And this change the odds a lot for such betting systems. Ok then, let's carry on this strategy and see how it will ends up.
you've got yourself something funky.
Okay then, the game strategy seems to go as well. I had few spins loss and it has dropped my cash balance. Then on many games played, it seems like the logic potential of rational mathematic theory has entered in action, and gave me a series of winning spins. Now once I have reached my goal, which is 40% profit, like $140 or over on my cash balance, I will stop playing. I will leave some small winnings, but much better than a total loss. Now the game is over as I reached my winnings goal. Playing so by looking at the last spins numbers shown on the roulette display can give a small advantage to the player in theory. But with a rational theory which has a logic potential in mathematics to give a small advantage to the player. The goal on this strategy is to keep odds at my own advantage. If we can represent lots of games played by a graphic with a $100 timeline, the win-loss fluctuations on the graphic are usually on the roulette advantage. And the goal of this strategy is to push up the win-loss graphic at the player's advantage by using the rational potential of mathematic theory. And to keep the player win and loss graphic as close as possible to the $100 timeline. I hope you have appreciated these explications. But do not forget that, roulette is roulette. And this strategy is based on logic but for a long time range of game spins.